Firefighters have the fire at the Dairy Gold plant in Caldwell under control. We told you about that yesterday, but that fire, which started yesterday afternoon, burned throughout the morning today. We're told part of the roof collapsed last night as well. Our Andrew Bartline was there earlier, and Andrew, you talked to people who stood outside. They watched that smoke rise. This was really emotional for them, so how are they feeling? Yeah, Morgan, some of them were employees and they were uncertain about what's next for them. Others, family, friends, and had other personal ties that brought them by. And as that smoke continued to flow out of the building this morning, there were a lot of questions. Smoke continues to flow out of the Caldwell Dairy Gold plant. It just sucks for everybody involved. As members of the community can only watch. It's, it's actually pretty shocking. I'm glad that it didn't hurt anybody. And to many who live in Caldwell, the Dairy Gold plant is more than just a building. I was part of some of the upgrades that went on in this plant. Terry Jones sat on the board of directors in the 1980s. He was a milk producer himself and says losing this building impacts more than just the 110 employees working at the plant. It impacts the milk producers too. Uh, it just devastates me to see that uh, this capacity for processing milk is lost in Idaho. So, what, what's the plan moving forward? A statement from Dairy Gold says we're doing everything we can to reroute their milk to other facilities. But yesterday, a truck driver told KTVB he was directed 300 miles away to a plant in Logan, Utah. Only thing that they've told me is that they just don't know what's going on. Chris Garlock is employed at another company but works with the plant. He says he has several friends working at the facility. Dairy Gold says in their statement, we will be offering employees temporary assignments in other nearby facilities. But there were four employees watching the fire Wednesday morning. Those employees say they haven't heard anything yet and they wouldn't speak with us on camera. So I know just as much as they do at this point, um, which is not that much. Dairy Gold says the plant will be closed until the cause of the fire is known and the damage is repaired, which raises concerns for the Chamber of Commerce as they fear Dairy Gold could leave town. It's tough on everybody. I don't have any information on what Dairy Gold plans to do. It, it would be the Chamber's hope that they stay in the community um, because they've been an integral part of of the community for so long. It's a piece of the community Coldwell doesn't want to see go. Really shocked by it, so I just wanted to see it because probably never step foot in there again. This place has come a long ways. It's sad to see it, it be reduced to a pile of rubble. Now, Gary, Dairy Gold tells me they have no further details on the damages to the building to share. We know the building is over 100 years, and Dairy Gold says they have been operating there since 1990 when they merged with Dairyman's Creamery Association. Now, this is all the information we've been able to get from them at this time, and that's creating a lot of uncertainty for the people of Caldwell, especially those who depend on that plant for their livelihood. We know you'll stay on top of this for us, Andrew. Thank you.